Hello, it's Sue Maddox here, helping you make beautiful cards at home. And today I'm gonna to share with you my eight essential toolkit items if you are just getting started with some card making. So let's take a look. Okay, let's take a look here at my essential toolkit items. We have the stamp and trimmer to help you cut and score your cardstock. We have some scissors. If you don't have some nice sharp scissors at home, these are great, the paper snips. Nice and sharp, keep them separate from your everyday um, scissors. Then we have, what else have we got here? We have got a clear acrylic block. These are great if you are getting into some stamping. And this is a good size. This one's block D. I think it's quite a handy size for getting started. Underneath that, we have some Whisper White thick cardstock. It's a lovely cardstock, works well as a card base and also for stamping on. We have some adhesives here. We have the multi-purpose liquid glue. Great glue, it gives you a little bit of wiggle room if you're sticking something down and you do happen to get it a little bit crooked. You just get that little chance to move before it sets firmly. We have stamp and dimensionals. I absolutely cannot make a card without these. They're just beautiful foam, foam mounts so um, you can pop up an element and give it a little bit of a lift. And we have our Memento Black Ink. Black Ink is just a nice card making basic that you can use for greetings, you can use for outline stamps, a very handy one. Now, let's take a bit of a closer look at how we use some of these items. Okay, this one here is our Stampin' Trimmer. So, it is a great um, handy trimmer. I use this one all the time. It has two blades. It has a cutting blade, that's the dark one here, and it also has a scoring blade. So let's pop in here. We lift up the arm. We can cut off an edge of our cardstock. The thing that you can do with the scoring blade is well you can score your card so that you get a nice neat fold but you can also get a couple runs through there and I don't know if you can see that here so you'll see there we've got some nice decorative lines um, that are handy just for adding a little bit of interest to your card if you don't have some of the other um, embossing machines and things like that that are a little bit um, more expensive when you're starting out this is a great way to add a nice little feature on a card without having to spend a lot of money Okay, next up, some very handy scissors. It's always good to have a nice pair of craft scissors that you keep separate from your everyday um, household scissors. Keep them away from the family, keep them tucked away in the craft, um, in your craft tub. So I'd recommend these, they're great. Stampin' um, snips, they're nice and sharp, and just a handy tool to have in the toolkit. Okay, next up we have adhesives and here are two of my favorites. We have the multi-purpose liquid glue. So that has got a little fine end at this end. This is the one I use a lot. We can squeeze out a little bit of glue there onto our project. And it gives you that little bit of extra wiggle room, um, just in case you happen to stick him down crooked. So you move him around a little bit just before it, it, it sticks firmly in place. So that is a very handy one. Now, our other very handy adhesive, and this one, I don't think I, I very, very rarely make a card that doesn't use one of these. It is our Stampin' Dimensionals. So you get three sheets in a pack. They look like this, and they are little, gorgeous little hexagons, little foam ones, and we just pop them onto our project. So I usually put a few on, and then peel the backing off, and then we can stick that down, and it gives a little bit of height. Let's pop that up here. Okay, and it just raises that element up a little bit. So just a handy one. If you really love them, we also have them in black and we also have them a little mini one as well. So they're a good one to have in your adhesive collection. So a closer look here at another two of my basics, black ink and white cardstock. Just a lovely combination there. So we've got our black ink pad for stamping our greetings or our outline images and some lovely nice Whisper White um, cardstock. If you're starting out with one, I would grab a pack of that. It's a terrific, um, nice crisp white. Use it for your card base or use it for your, your little element that you're stamping on. Okay, next up is our clear acrylic blocks. This one is size D, quite a handy size. Now I've just grabbed out a greeting set here called Itty Bitty Birthdays. 
and let's just grab this stamp here pop him on it's a little sticky there and we can stamp our image and then we just peel him back off pop him back into the stamp container and then we can get the next one out to use so if you've just got one size I'd recommend this this is a handy size you can get some of those larger um, images on this one as well um, and it's still just a nice one that we can um, control without being too too large so that would be my pick to start your collection Okay, next up to clean our stamps, we have the Simply Chamois is one of our options for cleaning our stamps. Now, when you get it, it looks beautiful like this one. So you've had it for a little while, it's a bit grubby. Here's mine. So I like to keep it in a DVD container as handy. Um, I've wet mine and wrung him out so he's nice and damp there. And then my stamp, I can do my stamping with him. And then to clean him off, I just give it a bit of a, a tap, tap, tap there and we have a nice beautiful clean stamp ready for next time now one thing I will say uh, don't don't close I, I close this up while I'm working just so it keeps that nice and um, damp once I've finished working for the day leave that open and let that dry out um, and that way you won't get um yeah it won't go a bit icky okay so this one's nice and stained and well 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 loved but it does still do its job gets it nice and um, our stamps nice and clean so that is a handy one to have And so there we have my eight essential items to get you started with some card making. Now we have a few little things that are handy to add to that, of course. Um, so I will be back with um, some of my suggested next steps once you've got that basic toolkit. And I'll show you lots of things that you can make just using this handful of supplies. So stay tuned. If you like um, the sound of some of those basics, subscribe to my channel and I'll be back soon with more um, to share for those beginner card makers out there, helping you make beautiful, beautiful cards at home to send to someone special. Okay, take care. Happy stamping. Bye.